James Lee Appleton was born on November 14, 1957, in Marion, Kansas. James was the kind, bright, and caring son of Jack and Gwen Appleton. After finishing his education at Southwest High School in 1975, he spent over 27 years at Emerson Electric as a supervisor before serving another 12 years as a carpenter. However, in the 2010s, James managed to get a position in the Gateway Rural Water Authority and served the Arkansas city that had become his home. That's when he lost his life in the blink of an eye. On February 23, 2017, the 59-year-old city worker was sitting in his truck, speaking to his brother-in-law on the phone, when a car pulled up beside him. According to witnesses, a soul man then pulled the trigger on James through the windows of their vehicles and immediately sped away. By the time the first responders arrived at the scene, though, it was already too late. James had passed from the single gunshot wound straight to his face. Thus, began the investigations into his cold-blooded homicide. Thanks to the witnesses, a name quickly came to light, but it raised some eyebrows because of how prominent he was in society. Grant Harden was identified as the assailant, with his professional trajectory making it seem almost impossible. After all, he was once a constable in Benton County, a police officer in Fayetteville, Huntsville, and Eureka Springs, and was also the former police chief of Gateway. Moreover, at the time of his arrest, Grant worked at the Northwest Arkansas Community Correction Center. Grant? Grant? Yeah, Grant. Right hand turned over for me. Perfect. Perfect. Thanks, sir. Okay, let me see the right back of your hand. You'll turn your hand the back, back over. Right. Yep. Thanks, sir. I'm going to do the same thing with the left palm. Thanks, sir. You don't have any weapons on you, do you? No. Okay, let me search you real quick. If you place your hands up on the wall, I'll let you go to the bathroom, okay? Okay. There's just keys. I believe it was keys right there for you, okay? Okay. So where do you work at? At uh, Arkansas Community Corrections. Oh, okay. Okay. All righty. If you want to step right out here, I'll have that uh, other deputy take you if you want to pick that up if you can. Okay, Greg, would you mind to get the bathroom? Of course, sir. Perfect. Thanks, sir. Appreciate it. I'm gonna get some information from you real quick. Do you want me to leave that there? Put you, back you can put that back in your pocket if you want, ma'am. I just, you know how it is. I know how You're in correction, so you know when we take people to the bathroom, we don't want them taking stuff in there. Oh, and yeah. And stuff and whatever. Not that you would, but you well, know how it yeah, works. But. Yeah. Or that you even may just forget it in there on accident, you know? Um, there was something I needed to get from you. Are you right or left-handed? Right-handed. Right-handed, okay. I'm going to take the Chamberlain. I know we have met Ooh. James Chamberlain. Okay. Uh, I know, did you used to be a police officer yeah. somewhere? Or? you, but I wasn't 100% sure where I knew you from, but somebody said that you used to be a police officer in Gateway or yeah. something like that. Okay. Um, like a constable. And you were a constable here too. For Benton County? Yeah. For Benton County. Okay. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Uh, well, How long did you do that? Oh, uh, two years. Well, I, I was elected one, one term, two different terms, but not okay. together. Not together, so two on two separate occasions. Okay. Um, you understand this, you've been through this before, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna read it to you. Um, anytime we bring somebody into the sheriff's office, we read this before we start talking to people, okay? And it's just your statement of rights for us. And before we ask you any questions, my duty advisor you of your rights. You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand that? I need to affirm it, yes or no, okay. Okay, anything you say can be used against you in court or other proceedings? Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. Um, you have the right to consult an attorney before making any statements or answering any questions, and you may have him or her present with you during questioning. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. Um, you may have an attorney appointed to you by the court to represent you if you cannot afford one or otherwise obtain one at no cost. Do you understand that? Yes. Um, if you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer, you still have the right to stop answering questions at any time or stop uh, questioning for the purposes of consulting a lawyer. Do you understand that? Yes. 
Okay. However, you may waive your right to account. Sorry, you may waive your right to advice and counsel, and your right to remain silent. You may answer questions or make statements without consulting a lawyer if you so desire. You understand that? Yes. Okay. All I did was read this to you. I put that you said yes to all of it. If I can get you to sign, oh, sorry. If I can get you to sign there about where I put that X by signed, right here. Sorry, I know there's a lot. Of, there's there's too many X's on my page. That's my bad. That's a different spot than where I, you can get any pressure me, and I'll sign the other side over there. Um, I'll get back. Okay. Uh, the date is the twenty third, February twenty third. Here's the thing. I want to talk to you about what, what you've done today, okay? Um, can you just take me through when you woke up this morning to when you got stopped by the police out there in... Uh, you're on. I'm sorry. I'm going to drop again. Ridge? I'm not going to say anything after I've been read those rights yet. Okay. Why, why don't you want to talk to me about your day? I don't know what's going on. I am kind of sickly <laughs> to, uh, to what I'm here for and things. Okay. So you don't want to explain what you've done today? Did you? Um, is there a reason behind that? You read me my rights, and I don't know why. And so, what was the first thing said? I have the right to remain silent. Okay. So you're telling me that you don't want to talk to me right now? I, I'm going to remain silent. I can't, you see, you see the position that I'm in, I can't tell you why you're here, but at the same time, I, I need to, I need to rule you out. And, I mean, or would you be willing to talk to me about your day knowing that I need to rule you out of something? Or I, 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 I'm just, I'm at a loss here and I need to, I need to, I need to clear you from something. And if you didn't do anything wrong today, you have nothing to worry about. And that's kind of where we're, that's kind of where we're at. Well, Does that, I, yes, I. I would have liked to, but before yeah. the rights were read. So okay. not knowing what's going on. Yeah. I I don't know. I don't even know what to, to say at this point. You realize that I'm trying to help you out here. I'm trying to get you out of here quicker. And you're just sitting here. Well, I'm not free to go then. No, you're not free to go. Why? Because I've got I've got to get to the bottom of an investigation. A very serious criminal matter. Okay. Okay? And right now you're a potential suspect in that. <sighs> Does that make sense? I, I don't understand why I'm a suspect. No. Well, that's for me to know and for you to tell me why you're not a suspect. This is your time to kind of help us, help you. Okay. Tell me this. Uh, I, Wait, I, I do apologize just... on the front no. end. No, 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 I'm, I'm, not, right. I'm not mad at you. I, I'm okay. going to exercise my right to be silent. Okay. Well, or you know, after you read 
after they read me my rights, I just feel like I need to be silent. What do you mean? Well, just that's they. Why? How come nobody asked me anything or told me anything before we got here or anything? Not necessarily you. You've been real good to me. Yeah. Well, I mean, I I was just taking you up here. You know what I'm okay. saying? I mean, they asked me to bring you up here, so. Um, the detective is the one that has all that information. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he said he couldn't give it to me. Oh, he did? Right now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, I, I, what time do you need to be back? So that well, you know, what time do you usually really get ready for work? Uh, I, I, listen, I try and leave by 9.15. Let's see. Well, that, my head's all screwed up. Now, 9.15, 9.30, so I can get there and sign in before uh, 1045, 1045, yeah. You got to sign in? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so you just want to get out of here is what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Uh, if, yeah. Okay. I would like to help, but I don't know what's going on. And I, it, I mean, y'all put yourself in my shoes and maybe you've been there before. It just kind of makes you sickly or you say what? scared or something. Sickly? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm. I mean, you. You said that you, you know, didn't want to say nothing. So, yeah. and like I said, they. I would love to give you the information, but that's oh, way above my pay grade. Know. You know how that works. Yeah, you know, I understand. Yeah. I know. So I try to be good to you. You know, right. get you what you need or whatever. So. Well, okay. I just need to go if they're through. Okay. Okay. I'll let them know. Okay. Do you need anything else? Uh, no, I'm fine. Are you sure? Thank you. Yeah. You sure? <laughs> no, but okay. but I just uh, I thank you. That's it. Yeah, that's it for now. Yeah. Okay, I'm just right. ready to walk on. All, All right, on. Man, you gonna take me back home? Or? Um, I think your wife may be coming to get oh, you or something. Okay. I think right. you're married, right? Yeah, I'm yeah. Okay. To, that's what I thought. Okay. okay, yeah, I think she may be um, coming up here to get you. I'm not really sure, though. Okay. I mean, they tell me about as much as they tell you. You, I know, know, I know. you know how that is. Yeah, I know. It's just. Boy. Right. So I mean, okay. you, you don't want to be that guy. I mean, you know, I don't want to be that guy. Yeah. But Well, I understand what you're saying. I mean, like I said, if it's I just weird, I'd like to help, but Well, I mean, I think you can. You know. <laughs> right? Right. I mean I think you can, but that I mean you don't obviously you don't want to talk to me, you know, but those guys, I'll, uh, I'll figure out where they, I don't know where they went, but okay. I'll figure out where they're at and let them know that you're trying to get out of here. All right. So, and let them know that you want to help. Right? Right. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. Hey, Grant. Yes, sir. The other officer told me you want to talk to me again. What's going on? I'm just ready to go. Okay. And I'm not, I'm not ready for you to go yet, so you're not going to be able to go. I've got other things that I'm doing right now, so... Okay. Did you need to talk to me, or did you like? What was the deal? Well, I, I just went. I was gonna go. Oh, no, you're I'm not gonna, gonna go. Tell you that. Okay. Yeah. No, you're not. Gonna but go. I'm you waiting. Time. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. talk to her a little bit. So I've kind of got a timeline of where you were and where you weren't today. Um, I'm not, we all know what happened, okay? My thing is, is I'm trying to get your side of the story, okay? I'm, I don't want, I'm trying to think of how to, to word this delicately. I'm not trying to get you in any trouble. I'm not trying to get her in any trouble, okay? You've got a little daughter.
Apart from the testimonies, the other significant aspect against Grant was the fact that his wife admitted that she thought he was out working in the yard at the time of the crime. In simpler words, he had no solid alibi. With that, on October 16, 2017, the then 48-year-old former law enforcement officer pleaded guilty to first-degree murder. He refused to reveal his motive, yet some speculate that he had come across James due to their jobs at some point in time, eventually leading to the seemingly senseless crime. When Grant Harden was standing in court to face the consequences of his actions, a judge repeatedly asked him if he wished to make a statement to his victim's family to help ease their pain. However, he only responded, I don't know how to say it, but I'm sorry. Thus, owing to his confession, he received a comparatively mild 30-year sentence in prison. 
It subsequently came to light that Grant had also sexually assaulted an elementary school teacher in November 1997, when he was 28 and in the police force. As per the teacher's initial complaint, her attacker held a gun as he forced himself on her in the school's teacher's lounge on that ominous day. He wore a stocking cap and sunglasses with no shoes and was extremely careful about not touching any surface. He also ensured to cover her face during the act. This particular move made authorities suspect the possible involvement of someone who knew how the police worked such cases. Yet, Grant had ejaculated, so DNA did link him to the crime. In February 2019, Grant Matthew Harden pleaded guilty to two counts of rape as well. He was sentenced to 25 years on each of the rape counts, meaning that his total penalty went from 30 years behind bars to 30 plus an additional 50 years. As per his plea deal, he'll have to serve 21 years, out of the 30 years, for murder and 14 years, 7 each, for assault before he can even be eligible for parole. Therefore, today, in his 50s, he's incarcerated at the minimum to medium security North Central Unit in Calico Rock, Arkansas. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you enjoy these videos, drop a like in there too. Thanks for watching, and if you would like to see a certain video on something, leave it in a comment below. Until next time, stay safe.